Alhamdulillah, we are out after praying uh, inside. Welcome to Life Moves. I'm Saeed Mahmoud. We are in Masjid Al Haram in Makkah. Okay, so I'm wearing this because this is what you have to wear to be in this area. I performed my Umrah yesterday. You see that part there? This area the, with the green marker there, that part used to be part of the Kaaba uh, for uh, hundreds if not thousands of years from the time of Ibrahim salam, up to the right before the time of the Prophet Islam became uh, or announced his prophethood. Uh, the Kaaba well, used to be a rectangle much longer up to there, starting from here up to there. But then uh, the Quraysh when rebuilding, um, they fell short of halal money, halal so when they ran out of money that they thought was pure enough to rebuild Kaaba with, they made it shorter and it became a square instead of a rectangle. As a result, that part, what used to be part of the Kaaba, is now exposed and it's open. This is a blessing, Alhamdulillah, because that part, praying there, counts as part of praying inside the Kaaba. And Alhamdulillah, just now I have prayed in there for Raqqa. And right now I'm going to tell you how I did that. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, we are out after praying uh, inside the Hatim or also called the Hijr. Alhamdulillah. These are the people who are queuing right now. Okay. Moved away a little bit because I don't want to disturb anybody who is performing tawaf right now. Uh, we did some extra tawaf outside Umrah uh, just a little while ago uh, before we head out. So that part is called Hijr, also called uh, Hatim. Um, so from one side is the women's queue uh, behind the barrier right there and uh, the men queue for, uh, from the wall of the Kaaba on the other side. Uh, so what we did is um, we wore this of course and uh, arrived here in the Mataf area before Fajr and uh, we waited around and when Fajr started before Fajr of course you have to queue up and make a rows uh, you make rows for Fajr and we did that right near the Kaaba and as soon as uh, Fajr ended uh, we moved forward in seconds and we were right in front of the queue uh, my wife was on the women's side and I was on the other side next to the wall right there so uh, that way uh, when they opened up we were uh, alhamdulillah lucky enough to get inside and uh, pray uh, for Raqqa we prayed inside uh, we could have stayed longer but we left because we didn't want uh, uh, others to be waiting too long so what they did is they allowed a group of people inside and the others had to wait uh, problem uh, happens sometimes when they open it up and too many people start pushing in and they push the guards even and uh, I saw um, on a, a bit later on uh, a few people fall fall down uh, because they're pushing from the back and people almost like uh, walked over them and I heard them screaming so be careful uh, if that happens but when we went in Alhamdulillah uh, we were okay and we managed to pray inside the Hatim uh, also called Hijr. Uh, some people call it Hijr Ismail uh, because of a myth that Ismail al was buried there but while Ismail al lived here this was part of the Kaaba so it doesn't make sense for him to be buried there according to the scholars but anyway so this counts this keep praying right there uh, counts as praying inside the Kaaba and Alhamdulillah we managed to do that just now after Fajr. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Your comments has me, helped me as well because they boost the video up on YouTube. So that would be great. And if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe for more videos from around the world. Particularly, I'm focusing on the Islamic world traveling many Muslim countries. So stay tuned for much more coming from all around the world. I'll see you in the next video. Happy traveling.